guys, my name is Jonathan and we're in this uni park right now, um, mediocre sunshine, but I'm going to teach you how to play a guitar. This is an acoustic guitar and I'm just going to show you a couple of chords. So I will demonstrate the G for you first. So you take your middle finger and then put it on the third fret. One, two, three, the thickest string, the last string from the top. So it should sound like this. You know, that's nice ring. It shouldn't sound like this. That's when you're not applying enough pressure on the string. It's gonna ache for a beginner, but it's something that you will have to adjust. That's one of the givebacks of learning a stringed instrument. Now let's take the next finger, the pointer, put it on the second fret, but on the string below, the one below the middle finger one. So that'll be the fifth string, and it should sound like this. Those are the two bass strings that makes up the bass part of our G chord. Now we have two fingers left and we take our ring finger, put it on the third fret, one, two, three, on the second string from the bottom. That would be this. And you take the pinky and you put it on the last string, same fret. Got it? That makes up the high part of the G chord. Now putting it all together, middle finger, pointer, ring and pinky should sound like this. Now that is a nice ring. And make sure that you keep practicing until you get a beautiful ring like this. Now that's how you hold a chord. And make sure you arch your fingers and you don't touch your fingers, you know, unnecessary strings with the wrong fingers. Then it would sound like this. Now that's not a chord at all. <laughs> Nowhere. Now how do I switch to C? Well, hold the G and move your middle and your pointer to the string below. Each one below. And that would go to this position. And that is the C chord. So your middle goes to the fifth and your pointer goes to the fourth. And you hear the ring. Now, how do I play the D? Remove your middle finger and take your pointer to the string below. That would be the third string on the second fret. And for all three positions, you keep your point, your ring finger and your pinky in the same position. That would be the D chord. Now let's play a progression. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Well, I would say that you would have to practice for a while to get a nice ring because your hands are going to ache. Now, if you see, there are string marks on my fingers, though I've been playing for pretty much a decade. And um, it may hurt a little bit, but if you probably look over that, you'll be able to play any stringed instrument. You know, you need to get over the psychological fact that it's going to ache. It will. It always will. So I hope you have luck learning these three chords. The thing is, for a beginner, it might be a little difficult playing all these chords, you know, like this and this and this, when you won't even be able to probably hold one chord properly. So there's this method where you can hold the guitar in this one shape, you know, uh, with your pinky, your ring finger, your middle finger and your pointer and form a G shape. And when you just lower, your pointer and your middle finger to the lower string that forms a C chord and when you take uh, your middle finger off and when you take your pointer and put it one string below that becomes a D chord so there goes your G and C and D pretty simple huh let me just introduce a small song amazing love how can it be you're my king who died for me. How simple is that? So the most awaited moment. Let's practice the song now, guys. Let me just play this once for you. Um, not how I'm going to teach you, but how the song actually goes. I'm forgiven. 
cause you were forsaken and I'm accepted you were condemned and I'm alive and well the spirit lives within me because you died and rose again That was simple, right? But you may not be able to do all this strumming right off the bat because you're just learning how to play a simple chord. So I would suggest that you just do your downstrokes. When you play a guitar like this, you know, bring your pick with, you know, optimum pressure all the way from the first string all the way to the last string. It's called a downstroke. When you go the other way around, it's called an up. But for now, we'll just go with the downstroke. So let me do the first line for you. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. Simple? Let's do it again. The second line. I'm accepted. You were condemned. And I'm alive and well. Your spirit lives within me because you died and rose again. So, how am I switching these chords? Thing is, for a beginner, it might not be easy, but then I would suggest that you go really, really slow. If you think that this is really fast for you, I would suggest that you slow down the song a little more, you know, and then first start off with the G. If you're not able to switch to C and D, right away, I would suggest just stay on G. It's not actually the right chord for the entire verse, but if you can hold it and strum an entire line, I would say that's a bigger achievement than being able to switch chords to C and to D. So, good luck with that. Let me demonstrate the chorus to you. Amazing love, how can it be? You're my king who died for me. Amazing love, I know it's true. It's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you in all I do. I honor you. Just simple, guys. When you strum, you should be able to hear this melody. You should be able to hear the ring from the strings. Until then, just keep waving your hand over the guitar. Just wave it. Wave and wave and wave and wave and wave till you get a nice and perfect ring. That's how a G should sound. Before we end the video, let me just give you another tip. When you play the guitar, your hands are supposed to be, your fingers are supposed to be arched and not flat or 90 degrees, you know. That's because when you don't arch it, your fingers touch the adjacent strings and that will ruin your chord, like this. That's not how it's supposed to sound. When you arch your fingers, that's how it's supposed to sound. So I, I hope you guys I know are able to follow this video and you can go replicate this in your house with a guitar, on an electric guitar, on an acoustic guitar, whatever you have. And I hope you praise God with whatever you learn. So until later, see you.